Choice Question Class Part 2 Inheritance Subclass Now we have done two programs already using inheritance and you all know what a subclass is. So let's do a quick review on a subclass. As you know, the subclass uses the extense reserved word that indicates that a class is inheriting from a superclass. The subclass can inherit all the methods that it does not override. And in just few minutes, we'll talk about what an override means. A subclass can override a superclass method by providing a new implementation. Let's take a look at the choice question, the subclass. Now when we talk about the choice question, we first have a question. Let's take a look at this example. The question is, the hardware of computer consists of all of the following except. Now this is a question. Now when we talk about choice questions, that means this question will have choices. And the choices are processor, memory, input and output devices, storage, operating system. So choice A, B, C, D. These are all the choices. Now, one of them is going to be a correct answer. So when we talk about a choice question, it has three parts. One is the question itself. The second is the choices. And third is your correct answer. In order for us to create a choice question class, we could write a choice question class from scratch. We can create a method to set the question. We can create a method to display the question and we can create a method to check the answer. Now, wait a minute. Aren't these methods already available to us in our superclass? So remember we created our question superclass and these methods are already provided to us in our superclass methods. So we're not going to create this class from scratch. We're going to be using inheritance and implement choice question as subclass. So we're going to create choice question as a subclass and this class is going to inherit from the question class. So all of these three methods can be used from a superclass. So we're going to implement the choice question class. What are the things that I need to put in my choice question class? First things first, stores various choices. When we talk about multiple choice question, we need to say the different choices A, B, C, D. Second is, we need to add a method for adding answer choice, for adding answer choice. The next, we want to create a display method that shows the choices so that the respondent can choose one of them. Now when we take a look at the choice question class, we will have choices as our list of different choices, like A, B, C, D. So we can create choices as an array list that will store different choices. So we can create choices as an array list that will have a list of items for the different choices for the question. And the two methods that the choice question will have is add choices. Now keep one thing in mind, this method is going to have two arguments. One is uh, the string and one is telling if it's a correct answer or not. So add choices is going to give you a choice and if that choice is correct or not. And then we have the display method and this method will display the question and the choices both together. So when we talk about choice question, we will have a question itself in the form of text and then we will have an answer that would be the correct answer and then we'll have different choices. Now when we take a look at this diagram in here, we know that the text and answer, they both are the instance fields that belongs to the question class. So only new thing in choice question is going to be the different choices that you're going to give in your question. And also keep one thing in mind, the choice question methods cannot access these instance variables because they are set as private in your question class. Does that mean we can't access them at all? No, we can access them. We can access text and answer instance fields through the superclass methods. We, so we can access the question superclass methods, set text and set answer to get the values of these two. Now let's take a look at what method overriding means. So we're going to talk about the display method 
And if we take a look at a super class, that's the question class, we know that display method displays or prints the question. So it would be display method and you just print the question. Simple as that. As you all know, the subclass inherits all the methods from the superclass. Now what happens sometimes is we don't like the behavior of an inherited method. Like for example, the display method in here displays only the question. Now I don't like that because in my multiple choice question, I want to display the choices as well. So I want the question and the choices. So I want to make some changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to override the display method by specifying a new implementation. That means my superclass display method is only printing the question, but in my subclass, the display method of my subclass is going to do... So in here, let's take a look at the display method of a subclass. This method is actually overriding the superclass display method. How is it doing that? This display method is printing the question. That means it's doing the same thing as your superclass method. And also it's doing some additional work that's printing the choices. So what we can say is the subclass display method replaces the superclass display method. So every time I invoke the display method of the subclass, it's always going to print the question and then it's going to print the choices. Now also keep in mind, how are you going to print this question? So when we talk about the subclass choice question, we want to print the question. But how are we going to print the question? We don't have question in my choice question, but we have print question display method in my superclass question. So in order for us to print the question, and this question is available in the superclass, and that's the text. We cannot access text because that's the private instance field. So we're going to access one of the methods that's the public. So display is a public method, and we're going to access that. How do we access it? We're going to write super.display. So this is how we would access your superclass method. If you see the subclass display method is invoking the superclass display method and in addition to it, it's also printing the choices. So this is how I'm overriding my display method in my subclass. That means I'm making a new implementation of my display method, which is overriding the superclass display method subclass choice question. When we talk about choice question, we need to know that it stores different choices. We need to create a method for adding an answer choice. We also need to create a display method that shows the choices that the respondent can choose one of them. So let's take a look at the implementation of the choice question class. So in a choice question class, you would be creating an instance field choices, and that would be an array list of type string because you need choices, choice A, choice B, choice C, choice D, and so on. And then you will be creating two methods. You would be creating method add choices that would take two parameters. One is what choice and if that choice is correct or not correct. So you'll have choice of type string and correct of type boolean. Now this method will add the answer choice to this question. Next you would have a display method that would print the question and the choices. Subclass declaration, the choice question. So when we talk about choice question class, we know that we have choices as an array list of type string and we have add choices method and then we have display method. So when we create a choice question class that extends question, we need to know that the choice question is a subclass. The question is a superclass. Extends keyword denotes the inheritance. That means your subclass choice question is extending question class superclass. Now in your choice question subclass, you will have the instance field. 
you will declare the instance fields that are added to this subclass and then you will declare the methods that are added to this subclass and then you will declare methods that the subclass overrides. Our instance field would be choices that's an array list of type string and then the new method that we would add in here is adding the choices add choice method and the method that overrides is going to be the display method. Now let's take a look at the add choice method. When we have a choice question class, we know our instance field is choices and we know we have to create add choice method and we have to create a display method. This is the diagram that explains the hierarchy of our superclass and subclass. Now when we add choices, Keep in mind the choice to be added is appended to the list. We have learned about array list before, so every time we add a new choice, it's going to append it to the bottom of the list. And you need a Boolean value to indicate if your answer is correct or not. And that's why we have two parameters. Uh, one is of type string, that could be a choice, and the second one is of type Boolean, that could be either true or false. Here's an example. Question one dot add choice operating system comma true so this is a string this is the choice and we are saying that this is the true choice the correct choice now here's what your finished add choice method would look like as explained earlier this is a choice that we need to add and we need to tell whether it's correct or not so we're going to say true or false so we have two parameters choice of type string and correct of type boolean and we are adding the choice to our list choices. If a choice is correct, then we are converting our choice to the string by getting the size of the list, whatever the size is. Keep in mind your array list is dynamic. The size of the list keeps increasing as you keep adding objects. So when you add in choice, whatever the size is, you are taking that number and concatenating it with the string and that's how you're converting your number to a string. So this returns the size of the array list and you're concatenating it with a string. So it automatically gets converted to a string. So we get that value, store it in choice string and we set the answer that the correct answer is the choice string. Now when we talk about the choice question class, you all know that we have one instance field and two methods. So this is what your outline would look like. You would create your choice question class, choice question extends question. The first thing you would create is your instance field. That is this given to you in here already. Then you would create your constructor. Now keep in mind you are having no values in the list yet. So you're just creating an array list. Add choice method is already explained to you and display method is already explained to you. So you will create a constructor and keep in mind you are creating a choice question with no choices. So you're basically just instantiating your array list. Add choice method with parameters, this is already explained to you. And the last method is the display method. This is your overriding method. This method will override a method from the superclass. Now this method is also explained to you earlier. So you will just have your display method. And the first line is you would invoke your superclass display method because you just want to print the question. So you would just invoke your superclass method by just saying super.display. And the second thing is you want to print the choices. So you would loop to print the choices. So pause the video, complete your choice question. Once you're done completing the choice question, we would work on our tester class.